it's uh it's a story about a writer i guess who's trying to come up with a film script called seven psychopaths but he has nowhere to go he's kind of blocked uh and he he doesn't want it to be what the title entails he wants it to be something much more peaceful and buddhist like what the hell happened some punks jumped us and said they were looking for a little shih tzu then some other punk killed those punks marty are you okay i just didn't need this today it's okay it's that blood it's his puke you, you want to go to the bathroom clean some of the blood and the puke off you as it's sort of general spirit of the thing i just want it to be quite anarchic and funny and to deal with some interesting issues violence in movies, etc., but not in a very didactic, uh, heavy way, just to explore why we like violence in movies so much. Is it right to, uh, in the form of a screwball comedy? Christ. An eye for an eye leaves the whole world blind. I believe that wholeheartedly. <laughs> no, it doesn't. There'll be one guy left with one eye. How's the I'm trying to always, in each scene, capture some kind of truth or help the actors capture a truth. And the scene itself can be insane and uh, illogical in some ways, but there should always be some kind of truth to all that, you know. No, and just making sure that no one plays it for, actually plays it for comedy. But, and it's the same with the stage plays. You don't play the joke, you play the truth of the situation or the truth of the line. Uh, there's a kidnapped dog. You don't just give back a kidnapped dog. They preach the entire object of the kidnapping. They didn't just give Patty Hearst back, did they? No, this dog is... And allow the audience to make it funny. Um, for instance, none of the characters in this think they're a psychopath. Um, they will probably think they're quite normal. But we, because they're obviously not, we find that funny. Hopefully.